What's up YouTube? For tonight's video, we have an awesome Little Cup battle against Lady Crimson. We have not even had a single Little Cup battle this gen, I don't think. So, let's get to it. Uh, question of the day is, what is your favourite Little Cup Pokemon? Or if you don't uh, know what that term means, what is your favourite baby Pokemon? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you would like me to do more Little Cup battles, also mention that. Uh, comment below, I can do that as well. Uh, this was just a team I got together in a shorter amount of time than what I sort of wanted to, uh, but it was fun in essence, and let's get to this one, because it's surprisingly a long battle. Uh, most Little Cup battles are quite fast paced, and yeah, this one wasn't exactly as fast paced as I thought it would be, um, just in the general nature of uh, Little Cup. Okay, so I'm leading with Mantrit. Um, he does look like a man, look at those buff little biceps. Uh, I frisk out the normal gem. And um, I actually can't really touch Bonsly at all, so I'm just going to U-turn there, break the Sturdy, and uh, swap something in that's a little bit more appropriate. Um, I was thinking, well, if it's got a normal gem, it's probably definitely going to have Explosion, for sure. Um, now, Bonsai's going to set Stealth Rocks up on me, so that's not too good for my, do uh, my Dodo. <sighs> that's that's not good, so I'm going to gonna have to uh, pre a very short-lived battle with him. So I go for Toxic, um, they're going to... Unfortunately, that's not going to do anything to Ghastly at all, and uh, Cass is going to hit me with a Shadow Ball, and it fucking crits me. <laughs> okay, um, I go for just a quick Leech Seed here. Just, there wasn't much else I could really sort of touch Ghastly with at all. Now, probably thinking that I'd go uh, for Protect here to get a little bit more health back and some damage on uh, Ghastly. She does swap out there, and... I'm thankful for that because I'm able to go to Synesis up here and get all my health back. Well, not all my health back, but a not, no, lovely nice chunk of my health uh, back after that awful crit at the start of the battle. So, round three quarters of my health. Now, um, another awful matchup here. <laughs> so, I decided to stay in because I thought the Sword Dance might come my way, and of course it did. Now, I do get another Leech Seed up there. So, I know this thing's got has got access to some physical moves, and I, I thought that I might have Flame Charge as well. So I do get Leech Seed up, and I'm quite confident that I can take a Flame Charge here, uh, because I'm very defensive sort of build. Now, that hits pretty hard, considering. Um, I know that I can get like a Toxic up here. Now, I don't normally use Toxic in Little Cup, because it's mainly a waste, but I <laughs> just wanted to try it anyway, and see um, how, like, how really useful it is. Uh, the damage just doesn't scale very well at all. But I just wanted to try it and use. So I've got a Leech Seed and Toxic on this. Um, too hard to use. <laughs> okay, um, I thought here, well, I could use I could use Lettuce later on. So I know that I can't really be touched if I swap in Binacle here. And that nice rock typing can get past all the fire moves, flying moves. So, And it's got a nice uh, base defense to that as well. Even with the Sword Dance up, that just tickles it really. Okay, and I've got another round of Toxic. I don't think this thing is really going to want to stay in against me uh, here. Now, at the same time, I didn't. I actually was running Shell Smash on this thing uh, for a late game sweeper, but it wasn't really late game, and I didn't really want to use it up at this point in the game because I wasn't 100% sure on what moves and items and things like that the other. Pokemon actually had. So I saved that for later, and I thought I'd swap in Lettuce again to get my health back, maybe get a better swap up, um, but that is not going to be the case. Tentacle actually just knock off against me, and I leave with two health, which is sweet. Um, unfortunately, my Everlight goes, but I didn't even think I'd like live past that uh, at all, so I'm able to get a Synesis off there as well. Okay, uh, I couldn't do much to Tentacle either, because uh, that bloody poison, two poison types um, stopped me from using Toxic. Uh, I just went for another healing healing move here, and that was the best I could really do, because I knew Ghastly would like, come in against me. Um, here I thought, well, I might just get Leech Seed up again, but um, I get critted by <laughs> Slug Bomb, so good times. Uh, poor Archigarese getting critted all match. Um, that would have done extremely heavy damage to me, regardless. Right, into Cane Toad, sort of trying to scare this Ghastly out, and I'm thinking it may be Choice. I was, at this moment in time, I was thinking it was Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. I wasn't 100% sure, but I knew it was one of those items. Okay, um, get the Nasty Plot up on the Switch. I'm running a special Krogunk here. You can actually run, actually you can run uh, like a mix set on this as well, and a physical set. It's pretty cool. And we get some use out of it. So I get Haze, which was sucky, because I can't get 
like lots of boost up like I sort of wanted to. And this tentacle was outspeeding me at the same time, so it's just going to continue to go for haze there and render my Nasu Plus useless. I decided just to go for Dark Pulse, there's only really attack that I could hit it with. I get a nice little crit there, which is good for a change. Um, so that's an. That's good. Now that swapped out. Now that was interesting. It, it could only use Haze and then swapped out again and then before it used Knockout. So I was maybe thinking, is that, is that a choice item? Okay, now out comes Fist Bag. Uh, I know this thing. I've used this myself before. It's a gut set and um, hits me pretty hard there with Fake Out. Now, I wasn't sure what set it could be. Like I, like I knew that it would have priority moves. And fighting moves, so I was wondering what its last move could be. Praying that it didn't have the move that I thought it would, but unfortunately it's got Earthquake, so <laughs> that sucked. I got a little bit greedy there, but I didn't at the, at the time. I didn't think it may not have it have Earthquake. Um, then again, not too many people use Tyrog anyway. Okay, uh, so that's things are looking a little bit grim at the moment. Now I thought this would be a better opportunity than anything to send in my Dodo, even though that. Um, that Bond's Lie was still sneaking around. I thought I could get some damage off on it. Incoming damage, at least. Uh, which I wanted to. Now, um, Dodo scales very well in Little Cup, in my opinion. Um, it gets some really nice stats at 18 in attack and 18 in speed. Uh, jolly nature. And you can even... I just put a choice ban on it. It's, it's bloody good. Um, I suggest you try it. It's sweet. And get some nice... Take base. So unfortunately, it lives with one health apparently, uh, according to how, um, according to Kath, and it's a normal. I know that's going to be a normal gem explosion, so there's no way I'm going to be able to leave that in hell. Um, so that was complete overkill there, but it's fine. Got rid of my duty. I guess that was the job done for Bond's lie. Right. Um, so yeah, things were looking really shit for me at the moment. I think I was five to five. No, I was. Sorry, I still had three Pokemon left. So I thought, well, Shelly might be able to do something. And Corfish comes out. I was like, ah, oh, crap. It's, it might be one of these boosting Dragon Dance or Sword Dance set. It's a Dragon Dance set, it turns out to be. Um, so my, I'm not sort of too happy about that. Because I'm more uh, especially defensive on this set as well. I, this is a stockpile set I decided to play around and run with. Now, I was a bit worried because, well, it's going to be able to do more Dragon Dances than... Uh, I'm going to be able to do stockpile, so I have to go for a Scold here, try and get a burn on this thing, at least lower its attack. Knockoff gets rid of my Everlight, so that's even worse. And uh, thankfully here, I get the burn, which is really, really important uh, there. I knew that it couldn't do too much to me either, because I had Storm Drain and all its water moves could do shit to me, so the only move it could do was Knockoff, and it wouldn't be getting that extra power boost, because my item was already uh, gone. Okay, in comes Tentacle. I get another stockpile boost up, because I thought, well... I don't think it's going to stay in. I've got Recover on this set too, which is a brilliant uh, move. So it's not affected by weather, no nothing. So it's great. It's the best uh, move you can have. Uh, like Slap Off, Soft Boil, those sort of moves. So I'm really nicely set up here. I'm I'm in a, I'm better. I'm, I'm in a good mood because um, I'm nicely set up. Um, I was trying to go for Scold here because I was convinced this was a Choice Banded Tentacle after a while. Or at least a Choice Tentacle. It's continually going for Poison Jab here, trying to poison me. I was thinking, I'll just get a recover off here, but I get critted again. So, <laughs> fuck. Uh, I'm not having good luck with crits this battle. Now, I was, so, at this point in the time, I was actually two Pokemon to five down. Um, I really had to get something happening here. I was kept betting everything that that tentacle was choice, and it was. So, I get the free swap there. Uh, in comes Mr. Snips. I do get the a Shell Smash off here. I'm holding an Everlight, so that's going to make up somewhat for my um, like drops in uh, defense, special defense. Now, uh, I was thinking, well, this could have Aqua Jet, or I have really got no choice. I do go for Rock Slide, so she doesn't go for Aqua Jet, which was uh, interesting. Maybe thinking I wouldn't kill, I'm not too sure, but Corfish is definitely going to go down to that. Now, out comes the Ghastly. I'm able to actually outspeed this and hit with Razor Shell. That was really good, so it wasn't Choice Scarfed. Um, I would have got outsped if it was Choice Scarfed. So I, was, I was praying that it wasn't, so it was obviously Choice Specs. Now, out comes Fist Bang. I know this thing's got Fake Out. Um, I knew that it had Bullet Punch on its moveset because I've used one before, but I wasn't too sure whether this one uh, had it. I thought it might have a fighting move. Uh, as well. I knew that it didn't have any priority, but it, it turned out it did have Bullet Punch, and that hits me quite hard, considering 
But I was able to get the Razor Shell off and take the Tyrogue out, which was nice. So I'm bringing myself back in the game here, which is sweet. Um, things are looking disgustingly bad <laughs> before. Okay, um, in comes Tentacle. I'm able to outspeed that too. Get the Rock Slide. I don't miss. I was praying not for a miss because that would be bad. And uh, that's down. Now, what other Pokemon were left here? There was... Ah, there was this left. Now, I knew this had Gale, Gale Wings and I had the Gale Wings Acrobatic, so it was out to outspeed me and I tanked that as well, obviously because it's not very effective. And uh, the Razor Jet was going to take that out as well, so... God damn. <laughs> that, was a, that was a very close shave there, getting back into the game there. I was way down. Um, had to make that, that play with Tentacle being banded. I noticed that earlier on the match. Uh, that was my only real time to swap in um, my binnacle then. So, uh, but that was a good game anyway. Kat's going to upload her version to YouTube, so make sure you go check that out after. I'll post that one in the link uh, there. It was a great game anyway, and uh, we both had fun doing that. And I'm sure we'll do this again in the future another two million times. A question of the day, what is your favorite baby Pokemon? Or... Anything like uh, that, leave it in the comment section below. If you want to put a set on it, go for it. Um, I'm, all, I'm all for that. I couldn't stream tonight uh, as well. I've actually been busy moving house because um, that's been lots of things. But I'm going to try and get it next weekend. But I just had so many, much stuff happening. But anyway, thank you for taking the time out of your day watching my videos. Peace out.